Okay, here we are. Jam Studio Production Meeting number 15. Now, what do we got this time? Oh, a little more detail. Uh, you know, some people ask me privately about any change is going to be what I talked about a little bit last time about how the the show is going to be more freestyle. What do we want? I used to be limited by a 28 minute time slot, basically. I padded it sometimes with stuff that bled a little bit more or not, but didn't really matter. So when it went to public access, it would fit. And then two episodes, basically, of the old show made one public access show. But I know people online don't like watching stuff too long a lot of times. But what I found I enjoy doing, and I'm kind of hoping others do, is I like sometimes putting something on that I just let run. It's a bunch of different choices of stuff, kind of an eclectic combination of things. That's kind of where my show's going. So whatever we have worked on in that time period, we will put in, in order of course, because if it's a series, you don't want to see them out of order. So you can enjoy whatever we're working on and, and sharing it with you. Again, one of the episodes of this damn production show is for you to kind of point out what you do like that we do and what you don't like. So we can kind of shape it where we're going. Except for the fact that I'm going to do what I like doing. But I could add stuff or change things a little bit. And if you have something, if you notice, sometimes I have people for me things I'm not doing as they like. If you got a good reason why, I can adjust, adjust it. I'm not hardcore on doing it. it has to be my way, just in a way that I feel best serves the project. Not necessarily what people like because I find a lot of stuff on TV is just the same sh same stuff over and over cop show lawyer shows doctor shows shows about those people you know it, it just kind of rolls around that same area and I'm tired of it as well as the style of filmmaking especially on TV there's a certain angle and way it works based upon commercials uh, so I'm not limited by those things anymore. Never really was because I was on public access to begin with. I never got into the paid field much. I did little freelance things here and there. I uh, did some stuff with some independent filmmakers in Seattle. But mostly I've been, well, I like to call it punk style on it all. So for the most part, it's going to change however damn well I want. But it's going to be more. I'm going to try to keep things short somewhat or if I have a longer sample I may cut it in half like I'm going to do with the, or the comic book game uh, when I'm showing the episodes from that I may cut them in half later on so you get half here some other stuff there'll be the mystery damn weird moments in history and then whatever else I'm working on at least one other thing every time and then the standard, I like the transition where some draws. I think that comes from my enjoyment of Monty Python. I like to see something for to flow from one to the other. Doesn't actually have to be related, but it creates the feel of a conglomerated whole. And I like that. I'm a tribal minded person. I think that's what punk is, is a return to the tribal parts of our people. In my case, you could say white, but when it comes down to it, there is only one goddamn race. Check out my video on racism if you don't understand that. There's one. Now, <laughs> production show. Finished the racing one, as I mentioned last time, and created the, this time, is the line runner. Different from last time with the obstacles, this one, you kind of like a sideways, much more like the old Mario thing, where you're looking at them almost two-dimensionally sideways, and they run and they jump, and you try to collect coins, and you try not to fall on mines. There was basically a, a kind of simple layout to it, but I decided I wanted to make it look more like it was in a dungeon or underground. I added some stuff to it, 
it didn't take long for me to make it too much because I'm still trying to not do what I did the first time and take too much. I need to bite off just those tools, the line runner, because maybe I'm going to use the line runner. I keep saying RPG, but let's say you do have an RPG where the character run around, find stuff, and then he has to travel from point A to B, and that could be a line runner game. So it's like actually would end up in later on part of games. As itself, I kind of get bored of it quickly. Especially when I was designing it and running through it over and over and over again to test it. But I had to learn the basics. So, it's just simply called Dungeon Runner. Pitcher? It's on Roblox. It's the Dungeon Runner. Run around, have all kinds of fun. Okay, you may have noticed the hero game comic book. The comic book game. RPG. That one's really kind of finishing up. We're kind of setting aside from that. We actually started putting together a Facebook page for the uh, live RPG game, the Tunnels of Trolls. We're going to do it's T N T. It's the ampersand, you know, T ampersand T live game at realdamnstudio.com. It's Facebook page. So uh, go check it out. What we're going to do is put on there the characters, so you can see them, as well as connections to the episodes, so you can stay caught up. We might even throw some episodes in between where we kind of summarize things down in case you miss stuff and don't have to watch 12 hours to just get caught up. We're going to put all that there, as well as I said, update to the characters. When characters die, we'll put a little you know notice there about them. But it gets a chance to see what we're doing, for the players to see what they're doing, and they have fun with this. Because as much as doing this live RPG, the tools are there through YouTube. The players, and as well as my, me, the Game Master, has to get ready to the system. Basically, I've got to see it kind of like my old live shows. Things have to keep moving. Things have to. I can't let people sit too long and too confused, or I can't sit there and have to go back and look through books. I need to have everything ready and for it to flow and move because most importantly is to serve the story and the adventure. It's a game. It's not a simulation of life if you were in the fantasy age. I understand that's what some people would like. Others of us would like to just play a game. An advanced version of Monopoly with role playing. You know, whatever the style of thing is, that's what we're going to be working towards. So, and we don't know. There's some tools they have where people can have a chance maybe to step in as, oh, NPCs or to comment. There's ways we can supposedly make money off this. I doubt that. Maybe even the companies, because there's no others doing Tell Us the Trolls live, will want to send stuff to But there's not much of a company, really. It's just kind of a smaller thing. But that's kind of what I like about it. So... This is where the little niche market I felt like playing in, based on what I enjoy. So, and hopefully you'll enjoy it as we build more on that. And we also want to remember, remember, check out the Roblox Dungeon Runner over there. And we're going to be doing a walkthrough for that, which isn't much, except for to say, hey, here's the game we made. Like I said, it's the process. We mentioned the game here, we put the game together, and we put it out, and then we create something that goes with it. It's just the steps to it. Uh, it's keep me fresh from what I learned in school, but didn't have much of a chance to apply. So, you will continue to have a great time and uh, enjoy our work, hopefully. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.